All right, I'm going to show you the flexion rotation test. Um, this test is designed to test C1 or C2 dysfunction. Um, and what you want to use for objectivity is using the Cron device. Typically, you'll put it on with the patient seated, and then, um, but I just went ahead and put it on before the camera rolled. Uh, and you also want to make sure that the patient's head um, is all the way at the edge of the table, okay? Because what you're going to do is lift his or her head into as much flexion as possible, okay? And what this is doing is locking out the cervical spine. Um, so the only motion we're going to get predominantly is the atlas on the axis, okay? And from here, you can rest her head on your abdomen or ospit on your abdomen and zero in and down. What you want to do, this is a passive test. You want to passively rotate the patient's head one way and what you're feeling for is firm resistance or you're asking if, if their pain arises. And whichever one comes first, that's going to be the degree that you're looking for. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. And whatever number you get is going to determine if C1 or C2 is going to be a dysfunction. Normal asymptomatics will have anywhere between 30 and 45 degrees. If an individual has been diagnosed with cervical genetic headache, um, typically it's 20 to 28 degrees have been shown in the research. Um, but 32 degrees is the main cutoff score you're looking for for a positive test. So anywhere, any number 32 degrees or less will be positive for C1, C2 dysfunction.